Hello magnificent soul friends! Welcome to my channel, Madame DeVoe. Thank you so much for tuning in and for allowing me into your wondrous experience today. Due to a massive shift in the collective consciousness, we're seeing more and more people opening themselves up to the possibility of ESP, or extrasensory perception, which is really just a fancy term for psychic abilities. These abilities are something all humans have and they ultimately contributed to the survival of our species. There are many theories of where these psychic traits come from, some people believe that they were given to us by an extraterrestrial race of beings who were manipulating our DNA, while others believe they stem from an ancient race of super advanced humans who were lost to history. But no matter the origin, we've become so disconnected from these parts of ourselves due to conditioning that starts at a very young age. Children are naturally psychic, but are frequently told things like it's just your imagination, which can actually be quite damaging to a child as they grow older. This is because it re forces the idea that their gut feelings and psychic experiences are fabricated by the mind. This can cause them to not trust themselves and in turn pursue paths that are not aligned with their highest good. If you're a parent watching this video, it is super important that you encourage freedom of thought and imaginative expression. Just because your child sees or hears something that you cannot does not mean that it doesn't exist. The veil between dimensions is very thin for children, and if their abilities are encouraged rather than suppressed, this veil will never thicken, and they'll become adept psychics as they grow older. Our society has been systematically designed to disconnect us from our true nature as intuitive beings. And this is because when your third eye is awake and active, you begin to notice all of the flaws within our system of living. But the indoctrination, control, and spiritual suppression of our society is a topic for a whole other video. And it's not too late to break yourself free of mental conditioning and become the most conscious version of you. You can begin honing your extrasensory abilities at any point in life. So let's talk about why becoming a psychic will be the coolest thing you ever do. First, there's better decision-making skills. When you're connected to your higher mind, you're more likely to make choices that are aligned with your highest good and your own personal morals, which will ultimately lead to your own happiness and fulfillment. There's a higher likelihood of you thinking before acting versus reacting to impulse emotion. Next, you can sense the true intentions of people before you waste your time on them. I'm sure we all have gotten that feeling about somebody that's just off, you can't put your finger on it, you don't really know what it is about them, but you just sense something weird about their vibration, right? When you're connected to your higher mind, you're more likely to listen to these gut feelings in order to keep yourself protected from people who may not want the best for you. Another perk is the visions and messages you receive from your higher self. Sometimes these messages can warn you of danger and keep you safe, or they can push you along your path towards your goals, your dreams, and your desires. Next perk, you can leave your body and explore. You can go to space, you can go across the world, you can visit your deceased loved ones, you can receive guidance from your spiritual buddies, your spiritual guides. Astral projection is one of the many awesome abilities that we have as spiritual beings. I recently uploaded a video talking about astral projection, lucid dreaming, and the dream realm, so I'll link that somewhere around here. You can check it out after this video. Another perk is being able to manifest experiences that you desire. This is one of my favorite parts about being a psychic. And I can honestly say that I really have everything that I could possibly want. Of course, there's still things that I'm attempting to manifest currently as I grow older and as I move forward in my path. But so far, I have really everything that I've meditated for, everything that I have attempted to manifest in my life through ritualism, through spellcasting, um, I've, I've gotten. So it really does work, guys, and I try to tell people this all the time. Manifestation is a power that we all have within us, and if you still don't believe in it, you're missing out. That's all I can say. Next perk is being able to connect with beings in other realms and receiving guidance from them. I always like to tell people that when you're alone, you're never really alone. And this is because there are spiritual beings around us at all times, even when we're not aware of them. However, they don't impede on our free will, so if we don't connect with them, they will not connect with us unless it is absolutely necessary. One of the cool parts about connecting with your 
higher self is being able to communicate with these beings and receive guidance from them. And the last perk I'll mention is being able to connect with other intuitives on a much deeper level. When your third eye is active, you'll begin to attract other psychics into your life. So you'll start making friends with psychics, maybe you'll meet a romantic partner who is also psychic. These connections are amazing because you're able to communicate with one another in a way that is beyond words. So the connections that you have with these types of people are able to grow much deeper than they would with just the average everyday person. There are many exercises you can try in order to boost your ESP, but before we get into that, let's talk a little bit about the pineal gland, since activation of this gland is what's primarily responsible for a lot of these abilities. The pineal gland is a tiny pine cone shaped endocrine gland that sits inside of your head. Mainstream science knows it as the gland that produces melatonin and regulates sleep cycles and while this is correct, it's only a fraction of its true function. It is the physical manifestation of your third eye and this can be seen while comparing the eye of Horus to pictures of the pineal gland. The ancient Egyptians were very much aware of this gland and its true potential. The pineal gland possesses photoreceptor tissue and French philosopher René Descartes regarded it as the seat of the soul and the place where thoughts are formed. This would explain why many claim to see colors and images behind their closed eyelids during deep meditation. The pineal gland is also responsible for psychic visions and thoughts that many would consider to be imaginary. But the thing about imagination is your thoughts still exist, they're just being manifested on another plane of existence. So even if something is just your imagination, it doesn't necessarily mean it's fake. This is why it's super important as a psychic to be conscious of what thoughts you're giving energy to. The more energy you give to certain thoughts, the more dense they will become. And then once they reach a certain density, they will drop into the third dimension and manifest into your own life. Your pineal gland is also able to detect light waves from other dimensions, which is why many people claim to see apparitions of spiritual beings and other paranormal phenomena. Now let's talk about some techniques that you can use to hone your psychic abilities. The first and most important technique in my opinion is your diet. So what you're consuming and putting into your body plays a huge role into your extrasensory perception. So if you want to hone these abilities, I highly suggest you take in more plant-based foods, more alkaline foods versus acidic foods. I see a lot of spiritual people out there recommending vegan diets, and this is great for your psychic abilities. Going on a completely plant-based diet is awesome. It does wonders for your psychic abilities. However, one thing that really bothers me about the spiritual community is their need to push veganism on everybody. I know not everybody is ready to jump to a plant-based diet and that's completely okay. What works for one person doesn't always work for another person, so really listen to your body. Just try to eat as healthy as possible. You may want to look into a Mediterranean diet or a Japanese diet because they have the highest group of individuals who live to be a hundred. So they're noted as having one of the healthiest diets on the planet. So do what works best with your body. Just trying to eat as natural as possible. You may want to shop at natural grocery stores, conscious grocery stores, get your vegetables from farmers markets if that's something that resonates with you. Because a lot of the vegetables and the food in general from these major chain stores are processed and they're filled with chemicals that can harm your extrasensory perception. And speaking of decal calcification of the pineal gland that takes me into my next point which is about water purification. So modern medicine is finally starting to recognize the harms of drinking fluoridated water. Um, it really harms your cognitive health and it really harms your pineal gland and ultimately your psychic abilities. So investing in a really good quality water filter, a water purification system, whatever you can afford. Um, there's Brita, there's Berkey. Berkey is a really good brand of water purifiers, so you may want to look into that. They're a little more pricey, um, but if that's something you can afford, great. But drinking purified water will keep your pineal gland from calcifying, so it will help your extrasensory abilities as a whole. So the next exercise I'm going to talk about is chanting, but there's one chant in particular that I've found to really resonate with me on my spiritual path, and maybe you will too. So you're going to chant the word T-H-O. 
So, and while you're chanting, you're going to keep your teeth slightly touching one another. These tiny little vibrations are being sent up into your skull, into your head to vibrate your pineal gland and activate it. So you're gonna start off by taking a deep breath into your tummy. You're gonna expand the belly as far as it can go. So take a really, really deep breath. After you've taken your deep breath, you're going to chant Tho for the entire exhale. You can kind of play around with it and figure out what note best fits your voice. But let me show you how it's done. So... You allow your expanded stomach to contract throughout the entire chant, pushing all of the air out so that you can get a nice long chant. You're gonna do this chant three times in a row and you can repeat it as many times as you'd like, maybe once a day or maybe a couple times a week. But I found this chant to be super effective. You may have headaches or migraines or even feel the center of your forehead tingling while doing this chant or afterwards. My next exercise for activating the third eye is meditation. There's plenty of binaural beats out there I'm sure you've seen them for third eye activation, for psychic abilities, and you're welcome to listen to these if they resonate with you. However, when I was first on my meditation journey, I found it very hard to focus during these binaural beat sessions. So you can find guided meditations on YouTube, online, that will help you and kind of guide you and tell you what to do and what to think of while your mind is drifting. You're also welcome to incorporate something I like to call third eye gazing into your meditations. And this is basically where you turn your eyes upward towards your third eye while your eyes are closed. So you kind of keep your eyes closed and then just allow your eyes to go upward and gaze as best as you can. Don't force it too hard. The more you do this, the more you'll be able to feel the center of your forehead tingling, which means it's working. And the last exercise is being open to the possibilities. I always like to tell people that your belief is the biggest factor in pretty much everything you do. And this includes psychic abilities. So if you don't believe that you're capable of having psychic abilities, then you will continue to manifest experiences that resonate with that belief. But if you allow yourself to open up to the possibilities and believe that there is potential for you to become psychic, then it leaves a little bit of room for the universe to manifest experiences that are resonant with you being a psychic. But if you're someone who takes the more masculine approach to consciousness and energy, then I highly, highly recommend you look into Dr. Joe Dispenza's work. He's a neurologist who is actively trying to bridge the spiritual and scientific community. Much of his work talks about extrasensory perception and the science science behind it all. So if this is something that you are, you know, kind of iffy about, there's no logical explanation, look into his work, you will not be sorry. But that is where I will conclude my vlog for today. Hit that thumbs up button if you learned something today, comment down below and let me know an experience you've had in your life that you felt was psychic or extrasensory. Subscribe for more content and share this video with people who you feel would resonate with it. Thank you so much for watching and have a beautiful rest of your day. Bye-bye.